excited to have this guest in studio okay. in LA because the last time I saw you was in Atlanta. Yes. So yes. our guest all the way uh, from, I don't know how far did you come down the street? North Hollywood. Here? North Hollywood. Yeah. Yes, by way of Atlanta. Is here, Blair Erskine, everybody. We're so happy to see you. Thank you. The, the last time I I'm saw sorry. Blair, we were at, at our friend Powell Mansfield's back porch, his mom's house, and you were convincing me to post this picture I had of Carrot Top. <laughs> oh, that's right. That was like deep pandemic. That was deep, deep, deep pandemic. Deep and and we, Bad dark we place. contemplated. I forgot <laughs> about that. <laughs> it was this p- <laughs> This is before I started stand up. Do this you remember like that? This was like the most famous. I was like, you did. had you met him? Yeah. yeah that's like way was. before I started stand up. And he's like pointing at the camera. And I'm, you I have like, like a, a child. I, mean, like I was a, a young child, sundress on. And. You, me, pal, Brittany Dent were just, we went for hours yes. contemplating what the caption should be. Mm. And we landed on no cap. <laughs> no cap you necessary. Just did, okay, okay. You, I was. I thought you wrote no cap no. under the photo. And I was like, that was before I think we were saying no cap. No. Honestly, that was before no, no cap. No caption, which says a lot. It, it does. does. Did yeah. you see it? Uh, no, I didn't hang him in it. Are you going to show? You should show the picture on this podcast. I will. Oh, so this, that should put be it in the, the show notes for <laughs> yes. this. We, we yeah. were rolling laughing. And that tells you how slow the pandemic was. <laughs> I remember it was like July. It was hot. <laughs> we were, was it like 2020 pandemic? pandemic? Yes. Yeah. Oh. We were outside just like Rough keeled time. over about this picture of me with Kara Top. <laughs> <laughs> we were also high, I think, too. Probably. It was. I miss the pandemic sometimes. I it was too. fun, you I know, mean, despite all the other stuff. That was fun, despite all the people dying. Yes, and the no work, and yeah. the no, and being yeah scared every day, and like the PTSD. Yeah. It was fun, and washing it, my groceries. You know, <laughs> I don't. No, but it was fun. <laughs> I, I mean, there were parts that were things. fun. <laughs> It was like it's oddly a simpler time. It, it was, was like camp. It, it was like summer camp yeah. all the yeah. time. We're gonna get canceled. It was fun it to was, be like, I'm probably never gonna work again. <laughs> never gonna see my grandmother again. <laughs> never, yeah, my grandma died of COVID. That's fucking. So it was awful. a great time. It was a fun time for me. I really miss. Let's start. How it I couldn't over. see her for a year oh, God. because of COVID, and then next time I saw her, she was dead. So. And rest in peace. But we didn't have to get up for much. So we could sleep. We, but base. we could sleep in. No, I get. I but we could sleep. We could sleep in. Catherine's a full blown monster. <laughs> but remember how we were drunk and high every day for two years? I wasn't drunk and high every day. I was too scared. When I get high, I start thinking about how I'm gonna die. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm high. Some, <laughs> some would say some would I whisper say. it to the microphone. Do you think, how would you die in this room right now? Anything Ooh. could happen. Do you remember what was it? One thousand and one ways to die. Yeah, no. I didn't like that. I didn't like it either. What I don't is that like called? That. Final destination. Essentially, yeah, it was a much. show, but it was legit about. So they would list people who did die. Real deaths. Real deaths. There's one. Can I talk about the yeah. one that will never leave my brain? Yes. It's, I, I didn't watch yeah, it. A lot. Blair's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I did not. Her hand goes under the table. She just go. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> this brings me back to pandemic pleasure. Um, so this girl, it's funny that you say that. It's funny that you say people put a hand that under me. the table. Oh my god, what? Because this girl died, y'all. She was um, using a carrot as a vibrator, as a uh, dildo. Okay, but like a lot un- of vitamins. So, but a, a, but an un um, what do we call <gasps> peeled carrot? So Bacteria. like a like a fresh carrot, worse, Ow. worse, Ugh. a thousand times worse than whatever Ugh. you're thinking right now. So she's using that uh, to pleasure her herself, and it cuts her on the inside, and it creates these little fissures, and air pumps into the fissures inside of her vaginal canal while she's pumping. Yep, and um, that it caused either a, a stroke or a heart attack or something. Like air got into her bloodstream. bloodstream. Cause she cut my pussy into, into pieces. pieces. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh no! This is my <laughs> last Tuesday. <Carrot>. No. <laughs> no. No. That seems bullshit. That seems no. Mad. It was a real story. And they did reenactments on that show, didn't that. they? Yeah. <laughs> what was that like? This is okay. This, this is a girl's first acting role. She's like, Mama, 
Patty. Mama, I booked it, Mama. <laughs> she's she's and her mom's like, what are you doing? She's like, well, have you seen Veggie Tales? <laughs> She's like, that was the name of the porn she was filming. <laughs> yeah. oh it was Tails, though. God. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Asses. Yeah, we get that. <laughs> you see, did uh, you get it? With, to, to pump that much that's, to put air in it, I mean, she had to yes. be pumping. That's, yeah. Just pumping. Ow. She was, yeah, she was getting that vitamin C. So, like, the last thing she had to see, like, her last moments on Earth, she had to explain to doctors that she, what she was she doing. I think she may have died during... During. Oh, I just hope she came before. So she someone went. just <laughs> found her with a carrot in her pussy, and they they she were goes, like, "This oh, must have been McDonald's." What it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. God. So anyway, how's it going? Okay. So so Blair, here's the Blair. thing: we're, we're, we have Blair. Explain why we we're able to have Blair today. Um, because she's she's got more free time right now. A little bit. So you're Another in pandemic. <laughs> po- this is Blair's uh, pandemic point two, two point oh, two point two. No, um, uh, um, Blair's a writer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? I didn't know how much you Blair's wanted to say. Blair's a writer. writer. Yes, writer. I'm a writer. I write for Jimmy Kimmel. Okay, Live. Yes. Jimmy Kimmel Live. Hey, yeah. I was just at Kim- Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club. Yeah, I saw that. It's so fun. Yeah, it was is it a nice club? It's, yeah, a, it's a very so nice club, yeah. and the bathrooms there are. Will you let him know? Oh, he takes pride in. I am his bathrooms? bathrooms. I have. Bragged. I don't know if that's true or not. We have <laughs> nice bathrooms though. <laughs> I've bragged about those bathrooms <laughs> to so many comics. Yes, like there is a little. There's a container on the sink. Um, in the green room bathroom that has all these little tiny drawers and in the drawers are tinier things that you need. Tampons? Like, there's tampons. There are uh, little tiny uh, nail files. What? Yes. There's I everything you could think morning. of. Floss, gum, rubber band, hair, hair, hair ties, everything you could possibly be in a bathroom be like, oh, you know what I need right now? And boom, it's right there in a little tiny container. And I've just been wanting to that thank him That is so personally. nice. Yeah, it's very nice. I will thank him for um, you. That Please wasn't do. in thank the you. Springfield, Missouri green room where I no. was at this weekend. No, no. And usually there were carrots, the- though. There were carrots. Just most- baby carrots? <laughs> yeah. Tiny things. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's so. Okay. You, you write for Kimmel. I write for Kimmel. I did. And yeah. I, did. I did. I used to until you like a month ago. Cannot currently write yes, for Kimmel because correct. from what I understand from the internets, there is it's a, a strike. strike. Yes. Which is why we don't do any writing for this podcast because we don't want to. Yeah. We're not crossing the killed. picket lines. <laughs> no. So we're not going to prepare. It's terrifying. It's, um, yeah. So you've been walking? I've been walking every day. Yeah. Because we're yeah. striking every single day. It's going to last for like a while, probably. Wow. I assume just because they're so far apart on, you know, what the, so what it is. is So I was going to say, please, yeah, break it down for us who don't I'm going to do my best. Okay. (laughs) All right. So the writers, we have a a contract, like a minimum basic agreement, right, with the studios, which is the acronym is the AMPTP, if you're hearing that. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun to say. (laughs) And um, it renews every three years. And so we negotiate, I guess, every three years. I'm a very new member to the the guild, but they were just so far apart on what they, like the writers wanted in the MBA. Which for a while I thought they were saying NBA in my first meeting about this, and I was like, "What does that have to?" Is National that? Basketball Association. Yeah, because we do NBA shows at Kimmel, and I was like, "This is a weird meeting to have." But anyway, um, so <laughs> NBA, and uh, they were it's, they're just really far apart on like residuals for writers, which is what they, you know most writers live on whenever yeah. they're not like gainfully employed, and also like AI, mm. and they won't even put language in the contract to assure us that they won't try to replace us one day or like make us punch up AI scripts and stuff like that. They won't even guarantee us that that won't happen. They're just like, we can have a meeting about it. Uh, and it's like, well, no, we want you to like put language in there and make they, sure that doesn't happen. You kind of so, need to protect us. Yeah. yeah. Because I mean, isn't essentially, this is the conversation. This is kind of where I'm, I'm understanding it is it's essentially AI is plagiarism. It is, because yeah. Because it's just, it just takes everything from, from everyone mm-hmm. else's creation. We teach it, yeah. It, it, it's, we teach it, so it's it's learning from text online, which people have already written, right? All yeah. sorts of shit. Or it's like, oh, yeah. you want to write yeah. a sitcom? It's all the only way Everything's it knows how to write on, a sitcom is learning from absolutely. scripts from other sitcoms from that, people who wrote other sitcoms. So it would yeah. just, but I don't under, I don't think that the people in charge really understand what it is, yet. and they they don't want to close the door on AI that might be more like advanced, sure, right? Because in the future, I'm sure they'll have an AI that I don't know somehow. It won't be plagiarism. Like somehow, maybe one day they'll be generating new. I don't see how that There's would be no possible. Such thing. Yeah, 
There's no such thing. I'm an idiot. I'm a girl, so like I don't know. I'm not a woman in STEM. (laughs) Absolutely. Sure, 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 sure. We need a woman in STEM. Yeah, Yeah. we are (laughs) so we're confused. But we're we're just girls with a big heart. (laughs) But but listen, I've heard some podcasts where men have talked about it, and that's how I'm learning. Men have talked about it. Thank God for men. Yeah. Thank God. So like I'm AI, but I take information that men have said, Mm -hmm. and then I switch it around and I add like a like a high pitched voice. Yeah. And then and then so now I'm generating. (laughs) I don't know. But this is what I think. (laughs) Okay, so yeah, that's a scary, that's terrifying because they can't even promise you. Because I think another reason is not like it almost sounded innocent when you're like, oh, well, you know, they're like, oh, well, we don't know if it's going to be more advanced. Also, they know for a fact that's going to save them an ass load of money. Oh, for sure. As studios and stuff. Like, that just is kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, to not be able to make that promise. Because you know, we all know what you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think in capitalism, yeah, the goal is always, like, no labor costs, but lots of, you know, labor. (laughs) And but lots of labor. So this is what I heard from guys. Trickle down. um, (laughs) Is... Um, the men told me, Catherine, uh, take the carrot out first before you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. Um, the men told me that to the, the frustrating thing about that is then what they'll do with AI then is like essentially like the AI will create the initial script or, or whatever, right? And then they'll ask human beings mm-hmm. with big hearts, big brains to mm-hmm. come in and punch it up. And so essentially, but like the AI could be pretty shitty from the get-go yes, and then they right. require the, just, and then they rely on the actual writers to punch it up and actually make it good but yeah. no writers ever get the creator or the 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 credit credit right? or like and then the money associated with sure. pay t- yeah. with those titles yeah. so but they're literally doing actually all the actual work yeah they'd probably make a new title for us right like right. Write, mm-hmm. writing consultation or mm-hmm. something which it doesn't make like as much money even Absolutely. though that like what you're doing is the thing that actually matters and it would be shit without that's absolutely right. yeah yeah it's so fucking weird yeah it's weird it's complicated it sucks for y'all so yeah. what happens in the meantime like what does just to get really down to like bare bones like what does a writer strike look like like what does that look like for you with your job and everything right yeah now? well we're out there every day there are studios all across LA and we go there and we just walk around with our signs I passed you know? I passed some on the yeah. way yes they yeah it's there. nice yeah, the haunts yeah. are nice okay. they can be scary but they're nice <laughs> and we just do that until you know something fucking happens I mean they go back to the negotiating table and I don't want to make it sound like we're just like scared about AI because they're also doing oh, stuff no, like oh no there's so much more than yeah that. No, they yeah. were trying to make like, like late night right? streaming yeah like if so I, I write for a late night show it's not on streaming though it's on ABC but if it were on like Netflix if it was mm-hmm. like a comedy variety show on Netflix they were wanting the studios were wanting to turn those writers into day players which would mean that if like the show only thought it needed like five writers for like the you know 12 other writers that work on that show wouldn't mm-hmm. get paid and those writers would get paid for that day it's just like you wouldn't be able to make a living anyway no. so anyway yeah we go I get high every day and we go to strike <laughs> when we walk around I take a gummy every day that's yeah. the only way you can do it yeah but okay so uh, beyond just walking though to yeah really like to just explain it means you're just you can't work you yeah. cannot oh yeah we can't yeah, those we can't do any work for the yeah. studios right union. yeah so yeah. um and they're re- yeah and since we're in the WGA we're not like s- supposed to be doing like writing work mm-hmm. not you know, through the fucking union, you sure. know, it's a whole thing. So, so no, none of those no shows writing. are being made. There's no new. I think there are five productions in L.A. right now that aren't shut down yet, but they're oh. we're actively working like the You know, they're staging walks and yeah. protests yeah. and stuff. Um, I think there are five. Wow. That's how, how do they get away with it? I don't know. I mean, like there are shows in New York. It's happening, too. Mm-hmm. So I guess it's just shows that have been fully written and they're not using, you know, no which, is, which is crazy because usually they'll have like a writer there, you know, because yeah. if you're changing shit every day, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've been on yeah. set and people are literally there's writers like changing. You'll get a new s- script like you'll have stuff memorized. You'll totally. have your, your lines memorized and then they'll come up and be like, we changed all of this. And Absolutely. Like, and in the la- like. That's not what you handed me in the makeup trailer. Right? Yeah, so they're just kind they're of like, ch- yeah, changing yeah. stuff. So I guess I don't know, and I don't know what productions they are, but if name them, I, I, I don't know. But I Let's know that like, is like, it this list? <laughs> <laughs> Come on out! Come on out! We have the list. <laughs> um, <laughs> the guy comes out tied up. <laughs> we got him we write, it, we write the wrist on the back of a writer strike poster. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty know, wild. Though, that you, yeah, that you can't work, but that you have to do that to make sure that your 
work as an artist is being protected. Yeah. That's what's so wild. And it sucks for like the the people who I work with at Kimmel who aren't writers, you know, who all these other amazing jobs and they do so much work. Like and they're you know, they don't deserve to have to fucking suffer along with us. I hate that they do. It blows. But hey, but at the end of the day, if all goes well, then what y'all did won't be in vain. It's Hopefully. Gonna be, yeah, it's going to be worth it for everyone. Because yeah. Because the robots are coming. Because the robots so are coming. Really, I mean, yeah. I know it's not just about AI. No, but it, it is. But it is kind of, I mean, that it, is a this, sliver of it. Terrifying. This is like the first kind of robots versus humans war. I was, no, I was reading in like The Guardian or something. There's an opinion piece and it was just, maybe it wasn't The Guardian, but they were like, this is the first like workers union to do something to say something about AI and I didn't realize that before and it makes me feel kind of cool Th- yeah. that's very cool <laughs> and then the history like that's gonna that's gonna matter that's I really hope it cool. makes a difference I hope that this does something or else yeah. you know, this is really gonna fucking suck well, <laughs> yeah it's, well uh, yeah I don't, it's like yeah. people versus the corporations and robots yes mm-hmm. yeah well a it's little like bit Westworld. of that was happening yeah. the whole last Westworld. year because no when... it's different is it it's not like Westworld it's not like Westworld <laughs> <laughs> she wins. I've seen it. It's opposite there. It's opposite world there. She's, she's writing. It's pilot. the robots fighting the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little different. East world. <laughs> write that down. <laughs> don't write it down. You're not allowed. Don't write, don't it, write, down. write it down. Just don't write, write it, it down. Just you can only remember it. Trap right it now. up in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. But like last year, there was a little bit of that for like almost an entire year with any comics who were putting out stuff because we're not protected by any kind of guilds or unions. Yeah. But we couldn't release albums because yeah. of the there were the estates of Richard Pryor, Robin Williams, and a couple of other you know legends that or their estates. We're like, no, we're not. They're not getting paid for as artists. They're only getting paid, they're, or they're not getting paid as writers or whatever. There's it, the contract for streaming, like Series XM, Pandora, whatever. What, so the residuals you get, or like the payback yeah, you get, right. pay per play you get for if it was a musical artist, just say Taylor Swift, you get the like the the pay for being the musician that plays the music, yes. and then you get also the pay for writing, writing it. it. Right, comics, yes. comics. Anybody were only that was getting only as getting a performer, they weren't getting the the writing writing credit. Writing credit. That's crazy. So like I recorded my album ten percent. So many during people, that yeah, kind of a strike holy shit. Thing. But then mm-hmm. they figured it out now my now my stuff is in and you're rotation. Getting paid. But now I'm getting paid. But it had to be put back. I mean, there was like months and months and months of time that I could have been making money. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that really sucked to find out after I already recorded. It. There's <laughs> some. <laughs> there's still stuff going on with. Oh yeah, that, it's not done. Litigation. It's not yeah. done. So but you guys aren't protected by a union. So what's going on? <laughs> well, luckily, like who's repres- who's w- luckily it's the like the bigger. It's a few. Um, I don't know what you call them, like companies that. Like we would go through to kind of produce our our audio albums to submit mm-hmm. to them. I see. And labels. like labels, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. you could do it individually and submit, and it'd be fine. But the labels kind of a lot of people go through the labels because they have their relationship with the yeah, yeah. with the streaming. So services. yeah, my label, for instance, was like fighting with or for like on our behalf. I see. Just with everybody, yeah. so with, anybody yeah. that went through that label is there should be a done. union for. Yeah, comedians. So I don't. I don't think. think it'll think, ever I mean, but you know, comedians. Yeah. yeah. Like who's in the, who's true. in that union? <laughs> <laughs> like, is it still the open micer? And do we trust any of them? Right. Like that's do what no, they are exactly do. right. I'm thinking about everyone we know. Like, like, <laughs> thinking, like maybe like, not. writers are so like <laughs> you know. I know. Like that's such a gray area with comics. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would not feel comfortable. Like I have Adam Conover representing me, and I trust him. You know. Yes. Because yeah. he's very smart and yes. like. Like, like, could you just imagine, imagine? Just imagine. Who would it be? I know. I mean, I'm thinking about the... Mandel doing it. I'm thinking about Mandel. I, I would trust no, Mandel. Though. I absolutely wouldn't. Not at I all. I would trust me. No. I love him, but he would scab not. in a heartbeat for a gig. No, people would See, look everybody... him in the eyes and be like, Mandel, do you want to do this? And and they just, and if they, if a girl looked at him long enough, he'd be like, no, nah, I'm out. I'm sorry. I can't. We're not can't. standing up yeah, for this anymore. Exactly. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> well, Sorry. speaking of we um, we crumble of things that can't be written. So I, I, I'm trying to. I'm really trying hard. This here is to good. This is a good transition. Thank you so much. Mm. Um, so so going. going into unscripted. Yes. Uh, there is apparently a reality show where That's there is absolutely some unscripted cheating. Absolutely not one person's ever written for a reality show ever. I've written on three. Um, <laughs> there are so there's drama going on with a reality show that I don't know anything about, but people continue to bring up the. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vanderpump's Vanderpump what's... rules. So we the brought Vanderpump's. in. It's a type of shoe. The... First, let's start there. What is a Vanderpump? It's not a type of shoe. And just okay. I want to. 
it should. I want to make it clear. I, I wear it. have <laughs> only watched no, 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 four episodes of the show. So we brought in our Vanderpump Rules expert. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so ladies and gentlemen, Blair Erskine. Blair Erskine. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, one of the unofficial creators of Vanderpump Rules. We're most Vanderpump. <laughs> Vander, Blair Vanderpump Erskine. He's is a in, Vanderpump I, stan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I didn't watch it. I like swore it off for so long because I thought there were rules. I didn't know who Vanderpump was. <laughs> what the rules? Or like what the rules <laughs> were. <laughs> what this is the, the best. What are what the, the rules? <laughs> what are I, thought, the- I thought it was shoes the whole time. I'm going to have to learn rules. I didn't know. Did, were, did you like, think they were saying like, like Vanderpump rules? Like they're like, great. They roll. Yes, yes. Gay Vanderpumps. Do you like, thought it was like a is? survivor show in Hollywood? <laughs> I think it's a guide. I still am not sure. Like eight simple <laughs> rules for to- dating my teenage <laughs> Ten things I hate about these shoes. You're like, where's Kaylee Kakauko? Kaylee Kakauko? <laughs> Kaylee Kuoko? It's Kuoko. 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 Exactly. Kaylee Kuoko. Kaylee Kuoko. Kuoko. Kaylee Kuoko. Cool. We have to find um, out. So the, the Vanderbilts are not involved. The Vander, they're not. And they did not create a really no. There's cool a, shoe. It's a Vander Vanderpump. Yeah. Pretty right, much. But, but a Vanderbilt Lisa. built a shoe, and it's a Vanderpump. A Vanderpump. It's I see Lisa. Where she's how going. do how do I know? Lisa this? Vanderpump owns restaurants, apparently. Which yes. ones? And oh my sir. god, you don't know this? I don't. I'm sir, telling you it's how called much sir. I don't know. It's called Sir, and it stands for. And I learned this recently. Sexy, unique restaurant. It's Sir oh. with a U. Am I right oh, about it's this? Sir, I didn't I, know I've that. seen Sir before. Yeah, that's a restaurant. So she, she owns, owns that. It. So good for her. <laughs> wow, you you that's really awesome. don't know shit. I'm true. I'm, I'm telling you, I could not know less about these people See, you, this or this is, show. You like yelling I, at me about all these '80s sitcoms that I don't know. Okay, first of all, it'll be like '90s, 2000s. It doesn't know Full House. But you know, Happy you Days. So that's and, not. <laughs> <laughs> but like no but yes i'm a, i'm taking the Catherine seat right now because i do, this is something i don't know okay don't. so lisa vanderpump from real housewives of new york i didn't know that beverly wow. hills okay. holy did shit not know that. wow east coast west coast I, beverly hills yes. i'm so sorry okay. um one of the like the ogs that one of like the main characters everyone was obsessed with right so sure. she and her husband and her little dog started mm-hmm. This reality sir. show, so, yeah. the restaurant, sir. and it okay. started as well. I think it still is as the servers in the yeah. It still is like yeah, the servers and like the management this and the restaurant. This has been restaurant drama. This show is about a restaurant. Yeah, but it's like less about behind the scenes stuff. As far, I've only watched four episodes, but I think it's. I mean, they are opening like their own restaurants and stuff. So it does. I guess I it's about the restaurant the business show. in that way. But it's about the drama. But mostly them. they're fucking. Got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. thought it was just yeah. a rich family. Like honestly, like when I thought it's about, cool. it, I just was like, and oh, ever, it's another Kardashian. It's a restaurant, thing. and you know what it made me it. think? It's like I want to take cameras into a fucking like Applebee's and Lauren Robbins you. and make a. Dude, and, and, I worked at Applebee's in Kennesaw. Like, yes. When I, like, that's a show. I want to make Vanderpump Rules, but there. <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> make them into stars. I think. Like, what does Applebee stand for? And you're like, Apple. Applebee. Apple be good. Apple be good. <laughs> apple pie be good. Uh, there were apple trees here, and we cut them yeah. down to put a chain restaurant on it. So apples be here, but yeah. now they're Look at bees these here. apples be in the middle of this mall. Apples. You know so, what's funny? No. They don't serve one apple. <laughs> Not anything. They don't have any apple dish. or fruit. Not yeah. at all. No. But I love apple Do you? I, yeah, I, I like any chain restaurant. Not. Sure. It's because I grew up. Not having money, sure. Oh yeah. And so that was like, yeah. like, like Outback was your splurge. Yes, Outback oh, was yeah. Christmas Day. Olive yeah. Garden, Outback, yeah. All but that. say, I mean, same for like, yeah, it was the, like, Ruby Tuesdays. Holy shit! Like, I think that's, that's what a, it is. It just, yeah, Ruby Tuesdays had that salad bar. Oh, they did. still do. Mm, they the, did. the diced ham, cubed ham. Yes. Yep. And those brown croutons. Did you ever have TGI Fridays? Yes, I had TGI Fridays. Mm-hmm. But we had to drive an hour for these because it was such a small town. So that's, like, how, that's how yeah. it was for us down in South Georgia. But here's the thing. the uh, uh, Then I worked it. Then I worked at chain yes. restaurants. And, and then, that yeah. ruined everything for me. Yeah. So, yeah. Because it all I comes in smell real frozen? Smell. Oh, yeah. Ice cold. And it comes to you half frozen as well. <laughs> so you're not getting. So that <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. That's. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You worked yeah. at Applebee's? Mm-hmm. That was the very first restaurant I ever worked in. That's where I started bartending. And uh, yeah. And I oh got my God, a club Applebee's? Knockdown drag out fight. <laughs> they call it Club Applebee's after 9 Our Applebee's was open till 2 a.m. It was the they one in Kennesaw. Karaoke. And we used to have $2 Long Island iced yes, teas. Yes. So it was 1,000% club, club Applebee's. Yes. 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 And those drinks were strong as fuck. This isn't like some pre made shit. People are dying know. when they leave they Applebee's. They were dead. I think a couple people died there. But my soul did. So I know. 
so that's true. I had khaki I don't know. Pants. I don't think I've seen the first one out here. No, I'm sure there's one. There's, oh, there's one. There's gotta be. There, I can't. There are Applebee's. Sir took them over. There's celebrities Sir in the corner, like, with, the corner like, like, with their big glasses on. Like, that's where you yeah. have, yeah, go yeah. to Applebee's. Yeah, go to Chili's. We go to, when, when I'm on the road with Spade, we go to Chili's. Oh, I love Chili's. We go to Chili's and Outback. Yes. Yeah. Every time. Absolutely. Every, before every I show. could just talk about this the whole time. Honestly. We, but I do think that chain restaurants, that's where they Take a camera to be there and at, just like. That. Cause, and they don't watch the shit. Like if you take them, take them to Warner Robins. Like no one's yeah. watching the Interpump Rules there. They won't know what it. They just like put know. cameras in there and yeah. just like I promise you. I promise you. Yeah. be so rich. There's a, there's a pregnancy every day. Yes. Oh, yeah. Babies being born. Babies. Like. Yeah, so so many things happen in an Applebee's. I'm just I, thinking about uh, my experiences. People getting fingered I, in the bathroom. Oh yes. yeah, I had yeah. to lock myself into the manager's office at Applebee's because this bitch. What was her name? It was like Monica or Marsha or some shit. Marcia. If you're out there, well, she's not. There's no way she made it past thirty. Um, no. She, <laughs> she fucking attacked me, and I had to lock myself in the Why manager's she office. You? Because she wanted me to do extra side work. She was fucking the manager, so she got away with whatever. See, and ex- he was married. Extra side like, work. Extra side okay. work. Rolling so, so, like, yeah, yeah. I had already condoms. done all of my shit. I had, you used to have to take all the lids off of all the, the hot sauces and the ketchup. They're not and doing that, that at Sarah. Wash that individually. <laughs> no, wash all the own. lids. And this is after you've worked, like, probably a double. So you've done, like, 16 hours of work on the floor. And then you've got to do unpaid, extra, no tip work crazy. for your $2.13 a fucking hour. And you're back there. And you're literally like, cleaning the restaurant top to bottom and and this bitch was such a psycho and like i said she was fucking the married manager and so she had all this fucking control because she's amazing. like i can ruin his life <laughs> this is what i'm this saying makes such much a better show. show yeah this and is called one of robin's rules <laughs> what yeah. Yeah. and, yes. and yes. what monica says goes yeah because- yeah she was such a fucking cunt though so she would be like and i would show you have to show your side work so i'm like hey i rolled like Jones. 75 silverwares and i washed all the lids and all this and she's like mm. and then she would like go back to the to the um the line and like wipe the line and be like um this you didn't fucking i was like and one day she did this shit to me and i needed to fucking leave i had school the next morning and i jump up i get onto the uh the expo line i jump up on there on my knees and i take a, a rag and like dip it in uh in sanitizer or whatever and i'm like is this good is this fucking good oh that my god like i was so mad and so tired it's like 3 a.m and i'm like cleaning and she's like oh fuck you bitch <laughs> and uh, you know the cigarette burns on her face, and I like jump down, yeah. and she like, and and she tries to get up in my face, and she's trying to attack me, so I run around the corner, and I run, and I lock myself in the manager's office, and then she and I like through the window, like two dogs in a fence, are just like, fucking, <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, you fucking, me. like through this little tiny like porthole window. Oh my god! And then the manager had to come over and like, you know, get her away from me. How so old I was could she? Leave. Like I don't remember. 20s? I was like 18. My God. And that's another thing. And they have like 25 year olds running yeah. these places. She could have been 19 or 45. <laughs> I have no. She looked like shit. So, once right. again, if you're out there, Do, putting go like, fuck putting yourself. food together to feed to people that they could possibly yeah. live or die from. Yeah. 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 And di- the children way they trust. Closer to the die. Right. Very close to the die. <laughs> Very closer. Not. Yeah. There's not. Nothing's being fully cooked. It's full of salmonella. It should be called yeah. salmonella bees. Salmonella bees. It's called. <laughs> I like Sam that Sam <laughs> But it's got a ring to it. It, it does. It's really fun to say Sam Yeah. 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 Um, okay. If, so if you're on a weight loss journey, come to Sam and Sam Your favorite neighborhood restaurant. <laughs> oh, I stole stuff from there. We were doing a, I'm remembering, I have stuff in my house to this day. Two of the chairs at my kitchen table are from our How? repainted Did you chairs. Steal from chairs? the bar? So we were, they were doing a, a, a remodel. You remember how all the Applebee's like in the 90s used to look like, yeah, I don't know if no, you went to No, I don't remember any. what the, the pre. No, you remember Catherine Applebee's. was born like Glubber <laughs> was born. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she has no memories. <laughs> <laughs> Some well-meaning scientist decided were, to keep you around. There were beakers and schematics, <laughs> and then she was there. I just went. <laughs> Can I do that? <laughs> that's exactly you. Um, but yeah, they they used to look like the inside of a Cheers. Like that's yes. what it looked like. They had all these like Tiffany lamp, fake Tiffany lamps, yes. like over all the tables, and it was all dark wood and just it was so depressing. So depressing, so dark in those <laughs> so- places. And then they did a revamp, and they were trying to make it like look like nicer or whatever while we worked there. And they 
told us they'd pay us a little extra. We'd get like five dollars an hour if we came. You're working in a construction site. If we came, if we came in after hours, no Applebee's so. union to help demolish the restaurant. What? So we're in there like taking out chairs and booths. Did and you have shit. a hard hat on? No, no. I was just in like, like khakis. <laughs> they were like, actually, and you can't my, wear anything. Yeah, it was just our regular <laughs> shit. And then so some of the degenerates that work there with me, like we're pulling stuff out. And we're, they're like, they're like, we're like, where do we put it? And they're like, okay, over there on the sidewalk, we've got areas for where we took out all different parts of the restaurant. And I was like, I mean, that, what are they going to do with this shit? And there were good, sturdy, like solid wood chairs. So I took two of the wood two chairs. People, a lot of people had oh sex in those God. chairs, though. You had to think about that. But I recovered them and repainted them. And right. they're very cute. And they were at my kitchen table to this day. Piece and I did take history. the two signs out of the, the bar that said, uh, the two stained glass signs that said uh, neighborhood bar and grill. And yes. I still have those. Smart. You yeah. had bar and grill. Anyway, well, they fucked me over, so I could take some stuff from them. <laughs> yeah. I deserve it. It's like okay. stealing from Walmart. doesn't matter. So Vanderpump Rose, right, we that kind of stuff pools. isn't going down yeah. there. Okay. All right, okay. I'm going to try to tell you. So yeah. What's the cheating that's going okay, on? Okay, so I, again, I started watching four episodes, five episodes ago, because I just wanted to be in on the current the, conversation. The details don't matter. The details, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so there are two Toms in this show. There are two Toms. Are you kidding They me? own a place called Schwartz and Sandy's, and also, I think, Tom Tom. Are these restaurants? Yeah. Well, Schwartz and Sandy's is a restaurant. I think Tom Tom is a bar. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, so, Wow. A lot of pressure. Um, t- there are two Toms. There are two Toms. Tom Schwartz, Schwartz, and Tom Sandoval. Okay. Yes. So that's the first thing you need to know. Tom Sandoval is married, n- not married, has been in a relationship with a woman named Ariana for nine years. Okay. Oh, it's long Her, time. Ar- Ariana Maddox. Yeah, and she's Never super married. cool. Never married, but dated for nine years. You know, and um, for what I have seen, she seems like a cool, like just like a. She seems pretty normal for being. She just seems like someone you'd want to hang out with, and everybody likes her. Um, and then her, one of her best friends, her name is Raquel. Okay. And Raquel joined the show, I think, just a couple of years ago. She was, like, dating another character, and then they broke up, and she and Ariana got to be really good friends, right? Her name's Raquel. But <laughs> actually, her name is Rachel. So she's Are you telling me This is what everyone is says. Yeah. And, and so, which I would, too. If my name were Rachel and I were going to be on a show with people named, like, Ariana, I would change my name to Raquel, too. So it's just like a Hillary, Hilaria situation? Yes, because like, Ariana's been calling her Raquel ever, or Rachel ever since this happens so also <laughs> ariana is like in her late 30s i think and raquel is like in her 20s she's like 27 like she's young mm-hmm. and tom all the, t- the toms are like 40s anyway toms are 40. so raquel and ariana are best friends and ariana and tom they're having like just like regular problems it's like oh i want to sure. have sex more we don't see each other enough like stuff that you work through eventually sure. they've been right. together fucking nine years anyway and raquel's there like giving her support along the way and blah 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 anyway it turns out raquel is fucking tom Sandoval, but the thing is, a big ho- a hoopla around it, I think, is that everyone thought Raquel was having sex with the other Tom because, like, they made out once oh. in the last season, and the other oh. Tom's going through a divorce right now from a woman named Katie who's on the show, okay. and they had a big. They were like, "We're not going to date anyone in the friend group." And then Tom Schwartz and Raquel made out, and everyone was mad at Tom Schwartz, you know, for do- crossing that line. Right. But it turns out it seems like he was kind of covering for his best friend <gasps> Tom Sandoval. Did he know about the other naughty? Did he Tom? Yes. Knew? Yes, he knew. But it's, there's just a question of how how long he knew, oh. you know, and people think he knew for longer than he's saying that he knew. But he didn't want it to come out because it would affect their restaurants that they have together. Re- you people know? would retaliate against. Yeah, they already that have much. like they like review bombed. I think Schwartz and Sandy's. And Are stuff you like kidding that. me? And it's because other people do work there who aren't in the show, you know, just like they're like waiters and employees and shit like that. So it does suck for them. But it, it, it so that's like the conspiracy around the show, and that's what people in the show think is that Tom Schwartz is covering for Tom Sandoval, uh, who is fucking Raquel, Rachel, Rachel, yeah, Rachel, um, and. And it just sucks of her too, because Ariana was her, like her really, really nice to her, like mm-hmm. really took her under her wing and shit. What, is Ariana just heartbroken? That's is she what just I she's like know. doing great? She's, blindsided. She was blindsided for sure, and she was pissed. And there's actually in the like final episode before the reunion episode, she gave this beautiful monologue. Wow. I bet if you search Ariana Maddox monologue, you would find it because it's like when Absolutely, she was breaking uh, up with him. I want to read it. Can I, I find are, it? Are yes. they married? No, they were just together for nine years. I mean, nine years is a long time. Yeah, yeah. like live, they just bought a house together too. <clears throat> My, the craziest thing to me is that it affects the restaurant business. Yeah, there's not people. There's not just a bunch of other toms going there just drinking no. and being like, I feel you. Tom, Tom, Tom Club. Yeah, right. Like I don't, but I also there's such a part of me that's like, is this not all 
choreographed Part. to get more attention to have something going on on the show to get more eyes on the show it seemed like no because they had stopped filming the season like last year like last September or October mm-hmm. and then this broke in March and they had already finished the season and they were pretty sure it was going to be like the final season you know and then this happened in March and they just started rolling again but they were fucking all the way back in October oh. so it's like you think it would have come out then if they really want it Why? who broke who- the news who told Ariana found a FaceTime on Tom's phone. He handed her, fo- her like his phone to her one night to hold. He was like, please in a cover band or something. And she was like, <laughs> I just like had and a Tom feeling. Petty. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like worse he than is that. A- and the heartbreakers. Oh, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The strike thank is you so over. Much. <laughs> the strike is over. You cured the strike. <laughs> Go back to work. <laughs> I, I evaporate. Um, yeah, she found a Facetime on his phone. He was like having Facetime. Sex? Like, probably with Raquel. Yeah, I don't know exactly what do you mean, the face contents. Time. Like, you don't record them. He recorded. I think it must have been something naughty, like her tits were out or something, because he, oh, wait, like, so had he record- screen recorded a oh, FaceTime they had. And he just. And then in an interview. What an idiot. He Why was would like, you fucking He do was that? like, usually I would delete stuff like that, but I was just really busy and I didn't have time to delete it. And it's like, what are. Do you realize what you fucking you sound like said, right now? Yeah. That's insane. It's insane. That's insane. But she's not sad right now. Um, I do weirdly feel bad for Rachel Raquel Why? just because I don't feel bad it's just like everyone on the internet fucking hates her and yeah like what she did is shitty but she's also like 27 and then I yeah, think she's a kid on a TV show and there's a rich dude who wants to make like out with her he's like 40s I mean, I'm not like sticking up for her but it's like I don't think she'd make that decision in 10 years, you know? Sure. And it's yeah. not, it's also, but she was a consenting adult. I just feel bad now, that everybody he, fucking hates her. Was he in a position of power? Was he her boss? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Okay. They were just, like, I was going to say, there's a whole other element there of being like, no. okay, I think she's a just like a, she's just a girl who she's does stupid Beast. shit like that, you know? Listen. <laughs> This isn't Applebee's. <laughs> this is Los Angeles. This is LA. Nice. <laughs> this is this ain't oh, Applebee's. Yeah. <laughs> Did you find the monologue? Oh my god, I'm looking. <laughs> Hold on. Blair's not high, y'all. She's Vanderpump. definitely not high. I'm probably not gonna find my it. My favorite thing is you're calling it a monologue. It is <laughs> in, in an unscripted reality series. <laughs> But there are builds and there's lists and there's reversals. <laughs> right. And it's right. everything like, I just really learned. counting oh, on the wow. cut to have this. I really know all the terms. Are you ready? Yes, yes. You have it? Yeah. Okay. It's not like they don't have it written in monologues. So just oh, work with me, okay? Okay. And okay. scene. Okay. This is like my favorite part of it. I've been with you for nine years. We were friends when you were literally wearing combat boots and skinny jeans and didn't have a dime to your name driving a 1997 Honda Civic. Wait, somebody wrote this. This is so good. No, she's just like, no, she's I swear mad. to God, she's just on, like, like, she's just, it's fury. She goes, Stream I loved you conscience. then when you had nothing. You got a little bit of money, a little bar, a little band, and then this girl is going to act, like, enamored with you, like, oh, my God, he's so, ah, because that's what you want, huh? You want someone to just gash you up. <laughs> she just, like, went on like that for two minutes. <laughs> Top so of her funny. dome. Like, it killed, it that, It was amazing, and I implore you to watch it. Like, oh, please. I can't wait. It will change your life. I've seen four episodes of the show. I'm not watching the earlier ones. I'm just sticking with these and yeah. going for it. Yeah. You can start. You can do what I did. And you'll you can, know everything. And you, you do. You There's a guy out there. His I name did. is DJ James Kennedy. And he has a British a accent. Long name. And you have to call him that. And he he, call he called Raquel. And he was like, you diddly done. Fuck yourself, Raquel. Like, he said diddly done. <laughs> diddly done. It was oh, I so have to watch funny. this show. I'm so excited it right was now. It so funny. Please. Sir DJ Don. DJ James Kennedy. J- DJ. And an episode in the show revolved around him having a big show in Atlanta. Oh. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's huge. Okay. Well, I'm very Where excited. Where at? I don't I, know. I, it's not at a place that I at recognize. At the punchline? At the punchline. His new name is DJ <laughs> He's Diddly Dunn. He's a DJ. Dun. You diddly done fuck you yourself. Did, it was amazing. Diddly Dunn fuck yourself. A, Raquel. 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 Because he used to be engaged to Raquel. Um, well, you should have said that. Wow, what? this is. I, I, I just like I'm leaving so much out. Oh, yeah, you're gonna get comments from people who watch this because sh- everyone watches the show. I know I didn't. I didn't. This is like this is I am. Like, I am so far. I have never watched it and somehow know a lot. Yeah, stuff about people it. because do you know what happened it. with the reunion too? Yes, with what happened because wasn't there drama around? Well, like, like, tell me the drama that you think. Wait, no, was that Love Is Blind? No, I mean, I don't know. Wow. There was, like, drama Different at the shows. reunion. That, and yeah. Raquel couldn't be there because she filed a restraining order against one of the people on the show. But I think tonight they're having the second part of the reunion and Andy Cohen's going to interview her. 
which is another reason it's relevant. Today's Wednesday. It comes on on Wednesdays. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. You can well, start. This is very exciting. All right. Do, thank you great. so much. Wow. For your I hate expertise. that I'm going out on that. You're welcome. No. no this was no. this was we perfect. We saved it. We buried the lead. It I'm sorry very... if I didn't do like I want to look in the camera. If I didn't do it justice, because people are watching this and they're like, she's not a real head, and I'm not. But I'm I trying think you to did be. Great. No, you did. you did great. This is for. You, People, these are these are for the old heads. The these old are for the heads. flubber heads. The flubber heads. that don't know shit about shit. Okay? You really do have that vibe about with no brainstem. Uh, yeah, one hundred ten percent. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we're still thriving, and that's inspirational. Ah, <laughs> oh, look how much you look how far flubber. you can go with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's my motto. I was gonna say that's. Your- that's on her bio. Oh my god. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Very much. Oh, a true Vandy head. Thank you Blair. so much. So Anytime you need wow. me, I'm here. Gosh, I really I, I want to have this you back been on. Or skins rules. <laughs> I have to find out what that means. If it, there are rules or if it rules. I feel like it's, it's the rule. She tough. runs the restaurant. So these are her and rules. And these are Vanderpump rules. rules. The restaurant. Yeah. Okay, I see. Maybe. No, no, just like her rules. Her rules at, at the, the restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. Employees must wash, must must wash, wash hands, must Twice. wash vest, must wash, wash vagina. <laughs> yeah, before coming to sir. If you, before sleeping the with the married owners. Yeah. I'm thinking about yeah. the carrot again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. that you must a, wash the carrots. Right. We're gonna have to, yeah. Those are, that, that's that's rule that. number one. You must wash must the carrots. Wash carrots. <laughs> must wash carrots. Before, before and after. Yeah. Before and after. And diddly and doodling, doodling yourself. Diddly done, do, diddly fuck yourself. Done. Yeah, if you diddly done, fucked yourself with a carrot, you need to see a doctor. He was like, you, sorry, he also said, for Tom Sandoval, stinky 40-year-old dick, you diddly done. It was amazing. Like, he's wow. just like, and oh. I don't think 40-year-old dicks are stinky, but no. it was funny to hear. But the lines. Just because they're 40 doesn't the mean they're that it's, it's, it's unscripted, great. you gotta be kidding me. I swear to God, like, I'm sure some of it is scripted, but not that. Like, they're just geniuses. Like, People can people everywhere are brilliant. I think there I see so much in humanity. And I think we could take that camera to an Applebee's and Warner Robins. <laughs> One thousand percent Peabody award winning shit. I this really is, think we do. This is how we fight the robots, is we just go into Applebee's. More reality TV. More reality yeah. TV. More reality TV. More, yeah. more reality than people really want yeah. Yeah, to think yeah. or accept. People will be like, Could a robot please write this? Yeah. <laughs> please God, I'm terrified yeah. of humanity. A robot yeah. wouldn't have this is, as oh. much meth in the script. What a damn dream come true. Uh, Blair, Blair where, thank you so much. Thank you. Wait, can we ask the one dumb question? Oh, please. Oh, I forgot our questions. All right, this is what we yes. ask. Our, this is what we ask. Oh, I was we worried you were going to have one. one. Let's ask I'm so the, well, scared. Let's have the dumb one. Two, two questions. Uh, one one question before the, the dumb one, because we want to close on that one. Um, for Okay, this is a good time. You're during writer's strike. You're not working, all this. What is your favorite mm-hmm. form of self-care? Ooh, I like to take baths but i also like to just go to the grove and buy clothes sometimes oh, yeah buying stuff i don't need to go to the grove and i don't need to buy clothes no, but, but right now that is it but also nice. do like skincare putting you know taking mm-hmm. a bath and putting stuff on your skin mm-hmm. yeah i like that i love that i did a bath the other day and i put lavender oil in it yeah oh my god it destroys the side of your bathtub but it feels so my, good on yeah your skin. i everything yeah. I, yeah and yeah. like putting a laptop on a chair in front of yes. your tub so you can watch tv while you're taking a bath no wow. get one of those get one of the things that sit across the top i'm That's scared it's got. gonna fall in no it's got rubber on the bottom so it, it like grips i have one I'm, how do you get out? i'll get you one okay show me what time to t- time to tub you get and I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get you that um so okay excited. so yes laptop on that now dumbest question ever okay um you're <sighs> listen writer strikes so bad you need work <laughs> you start to you co- you start serving it sir yeah and oh you meet this <laughs> you meet this young man named tommy Oof. no and yeah tom. i swear to, i swear to g and you start dating him for nine years, and then you find out Tommy's mm. uh, cheated on you mm. with uh, mm. with Ra- Raquel. Raquel. No, it's uh, uh, Megan. But it's, it's Megan. It's Megan. 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 And you're so pissed. You're heartbroken. And then you find out. Okay, would you rather the 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 bit is called hotter or notter? Mm-hmm. So would you rather the person they cheat on you with to be hotter or notter hotter than you, and why? Like, would you rather Mahang be like mm-hmm. a busted old hag, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. would you better be like some? No. I'd rather them be hotter than me, okay, Ooh. so that I could play the victim even yeah. harder. You know what I mean? Very much. Yeah, because I'll be people will be on my side because I am sad and I'm not as hot as they are. You know, because yeah. it's easier to hate hot people. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and so yeah. people, I feel like, yeah, they'd be like, well, she's a bitch. You know, I can't believe he'd leave 
right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it we're, would make the we're notters, but it would yeah. make the monologue um good. Yeah. Really good. And then people I could have a glow up, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes. A glow up. That's people a really, really good, good point. For me. That is a really good point. You all of a sudden people start it's the Jen mm-hmm. um what's her name? J J Lo? No. Brad Pitt. Wow, I can't even think of oh, her name. Oh, Aniston. Aniston. It's like then everyone yeah. starts comparing. Yes. 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 Who's hotter? Yeah. Absolutely. Glow up, ultimate form of self care. Yes. Truly. You can Angel glow up and you can regret it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. This was incredible. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Go out there. Walk around in a circle. I'm gonna go Hi. In a circle. Are your arms sore from holding the sign? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. No. My arms are fine. I can do anything with them. <laughs> oh my God. I've been doing this for three weeks. So. Sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> okay, so we love you. Stay stabby. <laughs> Stay stabby, <laughs> y'all. We love you. Bye. If you've enjoyed this episode of Cheaties Podcast, please subscribe, rate, and review wherever you listen. And if you've been cheated on or you have cheated, you've got a cheating story that we want to hear. Leave us a teaser voicemail at 888-STABBY-8. That's 888-782-2298. And hey, while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Cheaties Podcast. Follow me, Lace Larrabee, at Lace Larrabee. And follow me, Catherine Blanford, at It's 